This is the Chinon C300 8mm and Super 8mm um, dual something projector film thingy what's it lens. And for those of you who don't know what that means, I don't blame you because I explained that terribly. It's one of those old film projecty things. And you know they they they, they, they make the cool noise when they play the movie. I can't I can't put that on. Here's the actual box for it. Yeah that's right. Uh China C three hundred dual eight millimeter projector. Uh picture that old sticky tape. Da 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 it still has the styrofoam and everything. Oh, even the manual. Turn on instructions. Actually has two books. This one and this one. Anyway, yes, there it is again. It has a handle, which is awesome. This is some of the other stuff that I found downstairs. Uh, yeah. It's a pretty big pile of VHSC tapes. VHSC tapes? I mean VHS tapes. I need to watch these ones. Very nostalgic pile here. And there's another one there. And that's a recently required poster. And that's a pile of fallen down screwdrivers. Now this came from the UK, which means it needs some sort of adapter. Oh, what do you know? An adapter of some kind. Now, I plug it in here. You know what I'm doing. There we go. All good now. This is going to be the first time this has been turned on in I don't know how many decades, but probably a few. <sighs> Actually, I'm going to pause it and turn the flash off. There, now we have much better lighting. I don't have any spools on there as of yet. Alright, first try on the forward. Alright, well, first things first, always remember to plug the object into the mains so that power can be had. It's a huge fan. That is not perfect, obviously. I'm going to have it on reverse. That does not sound good at all. I am not sure. There is the bulb, and it doesn't work. You can see the bulb doesn't work, and I had to turn it on to show you that. Because you can't just turn the bulb on when it's not moving for some reason. I don't know why. The bulb is gone. There's another compartment. I just rotate this this way. You get this awesome stuff. Actually, I might have the light on for this. That looks a bit better. Yeah! <laughs> really interesting stuff. I think that's the focus. Yep, that's the focus. Uh, this is, um... I think that's the pause? No, it's not. It's, uh, this thing. Don't know what that is yet. That's the frame, I think, that adjusts the vertical alignment of the frame. Regular 8mm film, Super 8mm is that one, obviously. Still, let's to pause it. Yeah, 
which he stays. Slow motion is normal. Yeah. This sounds so cool. Right. Uh I think that's for when you're feeding it through manually. Uh yeah. There's another one down there. No, it's not it. Oh yeah, this is just upside down. Whee! Yeah. Now I think the main problem I'm having is uh, that belt here at the back. You can see that. I'm not sure if you can, just that one there. Okay, you'll see what I turn it on. Okay, now I'll go back. It does move around, but the belt, I'm guessing it just, it hasn't been moved in I don't know how many decades. This is the other side of the unit, obviously, with the cover off, which is over there. Um, yeah, there's the power input. I'm going to be very careful, everybody. Do not do what I am doing now. I am a professional idiot and have caused power cuts many times. Just once, actually. Nevertheless, the point still stands. Do not do this. Yeah, that's that's the belt I was talking about earlier. Uh, if I fidget, if I fidget around with it a bit, it actually yeah. And this is in reverse as well, by the way. Yeah, let's see, this belt needs to either be replaced or fixed up. Because, um, just doesn't want to grip onto anything. I think what it spins is um the this shutter thing. I think it's called a shutter. I guess it um these little blades go across the bulb and create that flickery effect. I'm guessing. I hope I'm right. <laughs> Ooh, sounds like a dying car. Uh, okay. I'm gonna put it forward now. Sink, so if I touch it, I get burned, and I did. 